Hello Virgos, this is the angle we are doing video this month. I hope everyone is doing well. I'm shuffling these cards very well. I've been shuffling them. So I write down cards that I've pulled for the previous readings that I recorded. So Virgo, if there are cards that I pull out that were in another video, I'll let you watch that. I'll, I'll let you know about it so you can choose to watch it. <laughs> Your free will. Okay, so um, this is for Virgo's North Node, birth signs and rising signs. So let's just be quiet for a minute while I shuffle and we just tune in for Virgo's. Uh, the world. Okay, we did get the world before. So Cancer had the world. So if you are a Virgo with Cancer North Node or Rising or um, North Node or Rising, then then definitely watch the Cancer video. So Virgo, the world for you means that you need to get more in control of your world. Okay, your life. All right. So whatever is going on um, you're putting out energy that is um, going to be important and don't get caught up in over judging yourself just allow things to flow and to to um, to work okay and things will naturally work out and it will be a strong lesson for you but also it will be a strong lesson for everyone and whatever that you're doing for your life that's going to benefit your life make sure that it is for the the best good or the highest result okay and just know that you are doing the best that you can but you can also do things that are going to be even even better so not to really feel down about yourself lift your spirits up and really allow that positivity to to come through okay and and this will be a great a great moment for you so March is going to be great for you the rest of the year will be great as long as you are learning from everything that's happening and truly taking uh, control of everything that's happening okay in your life so really the strongest message I got is taking control of your life and doing the best that you can with it okay and not to feel down then you have the Knight of Cups, and the Knight of Cups is all about, it's a strong warrior, but he also offers peace. So make sure that, that even though you're remaining strong, that you know that, that they can see that where you're going is peace and for, and for um, the best result. So this Knight is, 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 is trained, is skilled. We know what Knights are. You know, so you think of knights and they're fighting, they're in a war, they're in a battle, and everyone thinks that they're right, no matter what side they're on in the battle. However, people can tell if this is a knight of peace, and this this knight is extending his hand with a, with a chalice, and then you have the dove to the side with its wings open, and doves represent peace. So this knight of cups is compassion, but he's also strong. So you know that his shield is is a shield that represents peace, but you know that he's a, a warrior. He's not going to just sit down and say, okay, yeah, kill me, or yeah, okay, treat me bad, you know. So no knights um, do that. They're, they, they defend themselves, but, but their shield and his, his first message is of peace. So if he gets attacked, he knows that he was putting out the message of peace, okay. And then the other one, the other card is seven of, of uh, cups. And I feel strongly to mention seven means spiritual growth. So a continuous lesson of, of, of um, growing. Okay, I felt like mentioning numerology for this reading. So when it, 
when it pops up, I go with it. So it's very important to mention that seven means a continuous process of learning, right? Spiritual growth. And cups, of course, represents compassion. And you got another one. So your world is all about compassion here, um, Virgo. Very strong, very, very, very strong about compassion. And I love that message about compassion. All right. And I love the message of this is my favorite night, one of my favorite nights, because he's about compassion, but he's still going to be strong. And the Seven of Cups is looking at things that you want. So, so this is a painting of uh, a person looking at all the things that he desires, he lusts for, desires. So the things that you want to accomplish, you can accomplish them. They might... Um, be hard or might not happen all at once but but you have a goal and there's something that you're looking at and the, these are all all good things it's it represents something that someone would want so so in your life right now you have to remain strong but you want peace you want a positive ending is what the reading is saying and there's so many things that need to be in this painting there's so many different things that the guy is looking at in this picture and it, it, it's, it represents that there's so many things that could make, make your world or the world better, but there's always got to be a defense and there's always got to be some form of peace. But this picture is showing that there's so many things that this person wants. So there's probably, in my interpretation, that there's a lot of things that it's not just one thing that would make it easier for you or one goal there's a lot of different factors it's like a pie and there's so many different factors on the pie that that makes that whole sum okay so that's the reading and i hope you figure it out <laughs> virgo you guys are awesome you are earth element you're all element in one and um you guys can definitely figure it out you have all of the universe at your core and at your back so you can figure it out i hope you guys have a wonderful march and i will see you guys next time